Hey guys, Rune Picker here with another episode of Lock Picking 101. And today I'm excited to bring to you how to pick an American Lock S100. I got this S100 off of Helpful Lock Pickers batch sale. You can see we got the AMS 100 key to like master keyed and we got key number 8, which is awesome because the 8th key or the key number 8 that he showed actually had the best bidding out of all the worst bidding, I guess is the best way to put it. I mean, all these <coughs> S100s don't have that great of bidding, but key number 8 had the best one out of the ones he showed. So this is going to be somewhat of a boxing of an unboxing and a how-to. My first impression and I don't know if this is just because of the way that the pictures were, but I actually thought this was going to be a lot bigger. But nonetheless, it's still definitely beautiful. It's got some real good heft to it. And you can see the traditional American lock keyway. Looking at the bidding on the key 8, you can see. And we can see that the key does work. And it is key retaining. So let's go ahead and put this into the vise and we'll start picking. So when you pick the S100, I know I've said in the past that I really prefer to pick um, padlocks in hand. Because of the, um, the weight of this one and the tension control you need and the shape, it's actually easier to pick this in the vise, but it's not impossible to pick it in hand. We like to start out with top of the keyway tension with 50 thousandths pry bar. And a little uh, trick that I've seen is if you take your standard hook in 18 thousandths, you can pick directly through that warding. It's the actual perfect whiff to just slide right between that warding and get those pins. If you wanted to use a thicker hook, you could pick off this warding here but for maximum height and space, I like to use 18 thousandths. And I believe this is a five pin lock. It's hard to tell with the way that the key is cut, but that is my opinion. So when we put this top of the keyway tension bar in here, one thing you'll notice is that if you use the small side, it's absolutely perfect. It fits in exactly the right height and it just slides along this faceplate. So let's see how fast we can get this open. This lock has a lot of serrated uh, standard pins and serrated spools, which is traditional for a master lock, or sorry, uh, American lock. And so if you put too much tension on here, I gotta be really careful. You will overset and it'll catch those pins. Let's see if we can get into a false set. There we go, that's a nice click. <coughs> Started our false set. Pin one, here's the DS, oop. Um, can we save it? That is the question, I'm putting tension on my pick. Now ah, we got it, sweet. Because pin two is the only one holding us right now. Let's see if we can get that. I have to pick off this ledge. Come on. I got it. 
Yeah, that, when you get in that deep fall set, that pin two, seems you got to do a little major counter rotation to get that, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and lock this up. So you can see picking it in the vise makes it a little bit easier. You can see trying to do that counter rotation in hand would definitely be difficult along with holding it in the shape of the lock. Usually square locks are a little bit more comfortable in hand. <clears throat> but that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys like this video and this kind of content. If you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.